Well, good evening, everyone. Quick video for you. This conversation came up a couple nights ago on Discord, and it's been something that's been rolling around in my head a bit. I want to talk about it briefly, not a big deal, but just thinking about the channel, thinking about going forward. You know, one thing I really enjoyed about the channel thus far is the slow and constant evolution it's taken on, you know, with going from single videos to doing whole albums and then from albums doing a, you know, spending a week with an album instead of just having a reaction and then posting an additional thoughts video and then having conversations with the community, which has been a lot of fun doing Sunday suggestions where I post just a short one to talk about, you know, a rock album for you guys to listen to lots of fun things. And I'm trying to manage all of this <clears throat> in a way that, you know, I don't burn myself out. I'm pretty much at capacity right now. Like I can't put out more stuff than what I'm doing right now. But I keep thinking about how can I try and guide the channel in a way to just put it in the best position possible to where if an opportunity arises where maybe, okay, maybe I can go full time with this, then, you know, that works. So really what it comes down to is as I've gone through these albums, I think I've done, I've, it's over 25 now. I'm sneaking up on 30 album reactions, which is pretty cool. And I fully convert into being a hip hop fan, which I am. Well, I'm just going to say that now. Like I now when I go into an album reaction, it's not a oh, I'm I what if I don't like it? Like I feel like I will like it. It's just how much. Because everything that I'm listening to is already regarded pretty highly, which is nice. But I'm so used to the music now. I'm so used to the styles, the vocals, I'm even becoming more familiar with the slang. I, I understand the rhyming schemes easier, all this stuff. So I, I just enjoy it <laughs> now. It's great. I've like fully converted over into being a rap fan, which is cool. Um, <clears throat> before, you know, one of the things that brought about the Sunday suggestion videos is I noticed somewhat recently, like the, over the last month, maybe, maybe even longer, I haven't been posting playlists. You know, I haven't been doing this thing where oh, this song or this album reminds me of this from the rock world. And I think the reason why is because when I was doing that, when I was listening to the, to the rap albums, I still had like a hand on the rock world as like a reference point. It's almost like being a kid and playing tag. And it's like, I'm, no, I'm touching the tree. I'm safe. I'm, I'm still safe. I'm barely touching the tree. You can't, you can't get me, right? It was almost like this weird point of reference to hold on to just in case for some reason, oh no, I don't, I don't like this and I don't need that anymore. And so because of that, I don't come at the music that I'm listening to now from a reference point of what does it sound like from the rock world? I don't care anymore. I just listen to it for what it is and enjoy it for what it is, <clears throat> if that makes sense. <laughs> anyway, as I become more comfortable with this music and I become more familiar with artists as I, you know, I venture out and, and hear new people and new people. It occurs to me, you know, new albums are coming out and new albums are always a big thing. And the core of this channel is my journey through hip hop. However, I also feel like it's useful and relevant to listen to new albums when they come out, because there's always a big buzz about them. You know, I don't want to do things to chase views and chase numbers, but from a channel perspective, you know, to try and keep it healthy, it makes sense to listen to new albums when they come out. However, <clears throat> one thing I do want to do is one of my favorite parts of this channel is how many comments I get from people who say, man, I've been listening to this album for years and then you listen to it and you point out things in the lyrics and you point out this and you point out that and I get this totally different perspective. And I love that. I love doing that. I love bringing like a second experience in for you guys, because I think that's just a lot of fun. So with new albums, what I'm going to start doing slowly over time, I'm not like, okay, from now on, like this is just, we're just going to ease into this. As albums come out, like say Kendrick Lamar, he's got one rumored, right? Denzel Curry's got one rumored. Let them come out and then probably two weeks after they drop, then I'll do a reaction. That's kind of the plan. And I think maybe what I'll do is stick to artists who I'm familiar with at first, maybe. I don't know. I'm just going to let it play out. But that's kind of the general idea is new album comes out, especially if it's something I'm, if it's big enough that I'm at least aware of it, or if it's an artist I'm aware of, 
let it come out, let it exist for you know a week or two, maybe three, but still when it's relatively new, react to it, do my whole thing, and there you go. And I think just in doing that, it'll kind of keep keep a freshness to the channel. I mean, I have this huge pile of music to listen to, which is great, but at some point I'm gonna get through all of the classics. You know, I'm gonna get through the Outcasts and the Wu Tangs and and you know, Life After Death and the rest of Tupac and like I'm gonna get through those albums and then it's gonna be like, okay, well, you know, now what? And obviously there's more than just those artists. It's just a, you know, a sample. So there you go. Leave a comment if you agree or disagree. I assume everyone's gonna kind of be on board with that. And like I said, it's not gonna be a sharp, drastic change. Pretty much, you probably, hopefully you won't even really notice. Hopefully it's just like, oh cool, he's doing this thing. And then an album comes out, he listens to it, doing my thing, so on. Anyway, there you go. That's the idea. And we'll see you tomorrow, Friday, Dark Twisted Fantasy. Oh my. <laughs>